What's up guys, Chris here with Metro Restyling, Elite Rappers. Um, I seen a post the other day, you guys. I, I commented that we can practically do like 50 yard rolls. I got a 25 yard roll here that we're gonna laminate. So I'm gonna take over the camera here from Paul and show you guys, because you guys requested how we do it. So let me grab this camera. All right, so what are we working with is these boys right here, Royal Sovereign, all right? And a couple of key things that we do, and again, I'm, I'm not saying I'm an expert or anything like that, but we have a system in place and it works. So we have a guide here that's even with the guide here, that's even with the guide here, that is also even with the guide here. So when we load our machine, sorry, I'm getting used to this little stick here. Um, we line up all these in uniform so that the roll will from start to finish here will end up with no shift no extra laminate um, there's some Teflon tape that I bought and put it on here so if your if your laminate exceeds the vinyl it won't stick to this metal surface some laminators have this some don't but this is a quick turnaround a quick workaround I'm sorry all right so my guy here is gonna show you how to load this up Go ahead, buddy. so you want all your tension to be only on this middle tape here your tension is on the middle tape. This additional tape is only to hold this down. So tension here, this is just to hold the roll down. That's very important, because if you pull on this, your, your laminate's gonna be shifted. All right, so he's just thinly slicing it. And again, you guys know how to load laminators and, and all that good stuff. I just figured you might as well record the whole process right. so I'm just cut a little thin layer to expose the adhesive side of the laminate Create even tension as, as much as you can. Now a lot of guys use a, a sacrificed piece of material to load. We don't do that. With this method, we have good success. But feel free to use a uh, extra piece just to get your material preloaded. So that's kind of how you want your material to look. And he's gonna go behind the machine and tighten it up a little just to make sure all tension is even. And then we got our 2.0 carbon fiber here that we're gonna laminate. So now with those guides we had, you can see that we're pretty, pretty close. You know, you're not going to be perfect, but it's easier than eyeballing it if you put these tape marks here. You still got to do a little bit of an adjustment. And as you can see, it's pretty on point there. the tension there. Tension is very important. And we always start on number one and you know if you have the dial on yours just turn it down. And what he's gonna do here is use his foot pedal just to just to get the material fed. And 
And you always want to do this on the low speed. So when it comes to laminating, the, the beginning is the most important. So take your time. It's okay that it, it's on a one speed right now because this is where all the tension happens. And then we're gonna let that come just close enough for him to tape it. Pedal again. And he's gonna tape it from the center again just to have the tension in the middle. And uh, let's see here. Our material's really lined up there. I don't know if you can tell, but like it's literally a hairline in. So, see that right there? Now, are we gonna get, you know, a slight shift? Yeah, but like a sixteenth or even an eighth of an inch is not a big deal, but the, you have a problem when you get one inch, half inch shift, your material starts getting buckled up here, so, but, that slow process created all this nice tension. The media is nice and flush. It may look wavy, but it's not. It's just the reflections. So again, taped in the center. That's where you get the tension. Battery's on 4%, so I'm gonna have to take it off this stick and do it by hand. Alright, so he's just making sure he's good before he turns on the turbo. Always keep an eye on that. That's the only real adjustment you have to do. The thicker this gets, the less you have to do that. When these two are about the same size, you don't have to worry about that. Either. So as you can see, we got full blast going. I got 75 feet of material. Well, so you can go make you a cup of tea now. The seat the so there's no laminate hanging over it. Running close. So I'm not sure if it's the machine you guys are using or the loading. Like I said, we're not experts, but we just created a method. We follow it, and this probably shifts on us maybe one out of 60 times and now I'm being serious about that the only thing you have to worry about is this material here coming down here and that will start to pick up on its own once this roll is about even with this roll it's because it's smaller it's spinning slower than that take that little shift all day long running 75 feet. That's not even a big deal. And it was probably loaded this way because this side was this side was a little deeper in there. Let's see if I can get there. You can't see it. There it is. So yeah, it moved about a sixteenth of an inch, but I'm sure you guys will take that all day long. But worry-free laminating right here.
This is very important too. Your roll should be even. This should be flush. This should be flush. If they're not, it's going to come out the way it looks. So you can see in that roll, got barely any movement here. It goes in and out, in and out. Say not even a, that's probably about an eighth of an inch right there. Got two of these boys. Folks, 75 feet, worry free, no issues.